saw me drill this hole and I'm using a quarter inch carriage bolt and my original thought that was that these fans came with a square knockout if you will on the side and this uh, shoulder of this carriage bolt would fit into that knockout um, so I have to fix this, I, off camera I try to put a block behind this where the blades of the fan hit it. So I have some uh, rubber washers that I'm going to put back behind here. And uh, then I'll put a washer and a nut. The other thing is, is this needs to go on so that I can fit the frame around the fan and, and get these, this nut tightened down so that the uh, bolt will go through the hole in the frame. So I'll assemble this on camera and show you, first off, how awkward it's gonna be, but hopefully this will work. And the last step is to install this last cross member. Uh, and I wanted to make sure that I, it was low enough below the fan bottom so that if you swiveled it, it would not hit this cross piece. So. Let's do that. holding the nut while screwing the bolt out. The nut will actually tighten against the frame. tight on the ends. But it's actually moving on this connection here. You know, sometimes your design just doesn't work. So, I mean, I shouldn't say design, but 
you know you run into things that you didn't didn't see beforehand so let me figure out what I need to do to fix this All right, so that was a much better solution. Basically what I did was took the carriage bolt, I put a 3 8 uh, fender washer, a large washer over the rubber washer, that sand, and then a washer, a quarter inch washer and a quarter inch nut on the outside. What that did is sandwiched the uh, carriage bolt and gave the, the washer and the rubber washer on the inside gave it enough uh, clearance that the uh, the shoulder of the carriage bolt would not interfere with the nut and washer on the outside. I hope that makes sense. And then of course we've got the uh, knobs on the outside to tighten, tighten that up as well. So you loosen them up, it will kind of self-level itself. But it's tight enough now that that uh, you can, it won't move while it's running as you saw. So I guess I will uh, put the screen back on the fan, leave this like this is, and uh, put the cross member piece in and then we'll take a look at the finished uh, product when it's all together. Well, here we have it assembled. Um, it, this is on high. It doesn't wobble or anything. Well, I'm gonna do a little more sanding on this and uh, fill the nail holes. Then use a spray polyurethane. Probably do a final sanding between a couple of those coats. You know, it is summer. We, a lot of people use these fans throughout their home. Um, some people put them in the window if they don't have AC or they don't want to run the AC. Uh, we run one of these fans at night when we're sleeping along with a ceiling fan. This project can be adjusted. Uh, this is two feet here on the sides, this piece and this piece. And if you want it higher, then all you got to do is make this piece longer. Uh, just put this support right along underneath where the uh, fan is at and you should be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. This was kind of quick and simple. Basically I used some select pine from the big box store. All I did was routed the edges as you saw and did some sanding. Cut the 45s and cut the 90s and glued and nailed it together. Well I really appreciate you stopping by and watching this episode. Uh, while you're here, I would appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, uh, and there's a bell there also. If you click that, you will get notifications of uploads uh, from the Bobby Sharps Made by Hand Shop. Also, I'd like to ask you to give us a thumbs up. That helps us on YouTube as well. But as always, be all you can be, but best of all, be sharp. Stay safe in your shop, everyone.